I haven't figured out when I'm going to make the honor group of the day today. I mean, um, got to be something memorable, doesn't it? Huh? How about old folks? No, no, that's not. dead people. No, that's not good. No, that's, no I can't do that. I was, I was threatened to do that once because we know there are a lot of dead people out there, but, you know, they don't respond much, and we know they're listening to us. It's uh, 20 minutes past 3. We'll think of something. 20 minutes past 3 on WABC, this word of wisdom. Exactly how far will a top model go? It's what we it's 22 minutes past 3 o'clock. We've figured it out. The honor group of the day is a secret today. We're not going to tell you. If you if you may not be in the honor group of the day, it's a secret. We're keeping it a secret today. Well, the late Bobby Darren. I remember this too. Oh, the shark baby has such teeth there. I'm Rick James, WABC News with Big Ray Taylor. Ah, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Bob Hart. Nice to meet you. Well, Norwegian would. Or some would, anyway. Is it Mother's Day? Uh, stores open tomorrow, I hope. Oh, sure. Thank God. <laughs> All right, Beatles. This is for Kim. I want to tell a girl, or should I say? That's nice. That's Norwegian wood. And I'm certainly glad. Otherwise, they'd never would have been in Norway or something like that. Oh, I forgot to give you our honor group of the day. Of course, the secret today. Uh, I, I may tell you at the end of the show what our honor group of the day is. You'll have to wait out and find out. Our word of the day is immu. Immu is the technical term for cat talk, of course. I like the new Olivia John. Uh, she's come out of her uh, dernbull, as it were, and uh, <laughs> suddenly become a sensuous feature. Yes. It's called make a move on the baby. Mm, how about a step over the table, baby? Make a move on the baby. <laughs> Kind of just an interesting fantasy. <laughs> Ah, uh, whatever gets your heart started, I always say. It's 22 minutes before 4 o'clock. When you help someone in need, you're making a statement. So volunteer at Hebrew Hospital for the Chronically Sick in Co-op City. Just contact the volunteer director at 212-379-5020. You know, there's not an airline in New York. Thank you very much. It's Sunday at 9 on Channel 2. The next song uh, actually was written by my agent. I happen to have the best agent in the business. His name is Don Buckwall, and there's a whole bunch of people in his office who came over and negotiated with Al Racco, who was our general manager, several moons ago, a contract. And uh, this tune was a tune that uh, Don played as he walked into Al's office. I know you want to leave me, but I want you to let you go. This tune kind of typified the 60s for me, anyway. The dawning of the age of Aquarius. It came out in 1969. Whatever happened to the age of Aquarius? Bunch of talented people, five very talented people called the Fifth Dimension at 77 WABC. And uh, if you're uh, uh, expecting a, a, a kind of a uh, swan song kind of show today, I don't hang crepe. I, I, I'll tell you, I've had uh, 20 and a half years at the wheel here at uh, WABC, and we've been uh, throwing an awful lot of sevens. I don't mean 77s, and it's been uh, great, and I look forward to going on to some new and more interesting things that uh, are happening down the road in just a little while. If you do want a kind of a show that uh, will be kind of the wrap-up, the uh, I guess it will be the uh, the last dance, I guess we ought to call it, uh, Ron Lundy and I will be doing that Monday morning from 9 until noon, and then we'll be guests on the first talk show to premiere here on WABC, which will be Art Athens talk show, so uh, if you got some time Monday morning, uh, tune in. We'll be glad to regale you with a few memories and nostalgia and stuff like that, and then chat about whatever's going on in radio with Art Athens right here on WABC. I'm so glad that uh, last year, 1981, was the year that Al Jarreau finally got to be almost as popular as he should be. He's a very talented man. Here's a little example of his work. James WABC News with Dan Ingram. Now, this may surprise you, but I happen to think the next record is one of the best rock and roll records ever made. And as I said, I like rock and roll. This is Gary Bond. And this is Rock and Roll. Here she comes. It's so fine. You can walk through a comb. The ship finds at 77 WABC. 23 minutes past 4 o'clock in the Ingram S. And our word for today is immu. Immu is uh, kind of a childish curse. 
Uh, speaking of that, it's time for Mr. Frank Perdue to tell you about his. Uh, is it Frank Perdue? That's good. It's Frank Perdue. I, I thought it was. I thought it was a Beaky Buzzard first. No, Frank Perdue is going to do his thing right now. Go on, Ladies, Frank. this summer don't cook. And go outside in the sun and roast yourself for a change. That's right. Yeah, when your little thing pops out of your navel, you know you're done, right? <laughs> when it comes to roasters, Frank Perdue is even tougher than you are. He's got to be because every one of his oven stuffer roasters comes with a money-back quality guarantee. It takes a tough man to take make a tender roaster, Perdue. Either you're done or you're taking your temperature anyway. Uh, all meat farms, Food City, and Durso Key Food Supermarkets have fresh Perdue prime parts on sale. You can take all the parts and build your own bird, of course. Hi, I'm sponsored by your postal service. Ah, uh, well, what can I tell you? <laughs> the one and only Brother Burger just walked in. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, uh, Mr. McGuire, sir, uh, Jim McGuire? Well, okay, George Burger, Jim McGuire. Frank Leah just came in with a bottle of champagne, and they're going to have me a uh, swash before this program is over. But uh, thank you, gentlemen, for bringing us a little libation. You may open it if you wish and pour, and I'm sure there'll be lots of folks who suddenly run into the studio with a thirst. They're here already. Art Athens just came in. Tongue is hanging out. Joe Weil, the world's greatest newsman. Joe, you have to do me a favor. Before this show is over, you must fall asleep. Otherwise, it will not be a successful show. Okay? All right. This next... Oh, yeah, okay. Just nod out like he always and scratches his face a lot. We wonder about him. Uh, this next tune always reminds me of, uh, of two girls... At the table in the in the restaurant or the nightclub, always one of them gets up and the other one says, "Come go with me." I love that. That's Del Vikings on WABC carrying you back a whole lot of years more than I want to admit. I don't forget on seventy seven WABC shadow traffic information coming up again. A couple minutes right here in the four thirty news on the Ingram S. Shadow traffic is brought to you in part by Swift and Company. What's meatier than bacon? Hmm? <laughs> and Swift. <laughs> right? Besides that, uh, Sizzleine. That's right. The real meat breakfast strip. Ah, I love a little breakfast strip. Good morning, dearie. Da, da, da. I ain't going to the office today, Mama. Yes, it's 50% leaner than bacon, so you get more good meat to eat, my dear. Look for it today from the Swift Premium family of quality foods. It's time for us now for a business report with Gordon Williams, who will be slightly today delayed because he always breathes for about three seconds before he starts. And before that, we have the news. And with that, here's Palmer Payne. Good afternoon. It's 70 degrees, mostly sunny in New York. This is the 430 edition on WABC, New York's radio station. I'm Palmer Payne, WABC News on the Dan Ingram Show. Dan Ingram, WABC. A little bit of ebony and ivory for all you miscegenation fans out there. Before I get to the next record, there's something that just crossed my mind that I want to say. Now, I'm not going to sit here and give you a whole bunch of names of people who work here at the station because although it might be very nice for them, it would be meaningless to you. But uh, there are a few people I'd like to say something about, just a few selected people, because uh, I don't want to be accused of leaving anybody out. And if I run a list of 120 names, it doesn't sound sincere. But there's one person who has, who has made this station run since, uh, since Ernie Kovacs was the morning man. A lady who is, uh, without her, the station would not exist, would not be on the air, and uh, just, uh, well, it just wouldn't be the way it is. Her name is Shirley Laird. And without Shirley, uh, we just wouldn't, uh, we just wouldn't be here. That's the truth. And without Shirley, well, maybe I would have to write out the log myself. We'll get to the next record in a minute. Thank you, Shirley. The wonders you see in a supermarket. We guarantee it. I like to squeeze chickens, because I happen to like chicken juice, you know. And now a reminder of what we used to think was great music. <laughs> it's amazing what they used to get away with. This is in the still of the night family. Yeah. Get those high notes. It's ten minutes in front of five on WABC, and then a few years later, we found out good music could be. This is one of the really great groups around Chicago. Good musicians. Steely Dan's great, uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. That kind of lean towards Chicago. This is does anybody really know what time it is? I do. 
As I was walking down the street one day Now the trombone thing It was in a Kenton album, as I recall originally. Anyway, it's seven minutes in front of five o'clock on WABC and the Ingram de Uma. And don't forget tonight, tonight, the Yankees play the Seattle Mariners. Uh, it says here, join Phil Rizzuto and Bill White for the pregame show. They don't do it. Uh, Frank Messer does the pregame show. This promo's been around for months. That's at 10.15. Game time is at 10.30. The Yankees play the game on New York's Yankee station. Stiller and Mira. The R Sports. Play the anthem, please. I have to stand and salute. Wait a minute. Ah, my thumb on my this is one of the most inspired couplings of any coupling in music. Yeah. Barbara Streisand, Donna Summer. No more tears. An appropriate number. It's raining. It's pouring. For me, I always went a little more right after. Well, anyway, it's time for the news to get you updated on what's happening around the world. Here's Rick James. There is expected to be a crush of interborough traffic on Rick James WABC News with Dan Ingram. WABC, Dan Ingram program. 